Tonight on 15 Minutes, we will talk to the aspiring artists of the past decade. Stars such as Picasso, Rene Margatier, and those who are shaping up art to be the next big thing. What really makes these brilliant minds tick? No pun intended. First, we sat down with Pablo Picasso, born in Spain in 1882. He was trained at the knee of his father in oil painting figure drawing as a child. Renting out a small apartment close to home, his father gave him space for his own work. Picasso attended Royal Academy Art School in Madrid at age 16, but quickly developed a disdain for formal education and quit attending classes. However, while in Madrid, he grew fond of the new El Greco style of painting, which incorporates elongated limbs and bold collars found in his later paintings. So, Mr. Picasso, I understand you have went through some different phases in your artwork. Just looking through your paintings, I noticed a blue period, a rose period, and what appears to be an African-American influence, and most recently, Cubism. Can you give some insight into your life during these times? I tend to reflect my attitudes towards life through my art. It is, after all, how I express myself. The blue period was a very difficult time in my life after my friend Carlos committed suicide. Now, the rose period was a great time. That is when the harlequin, or clowns, became my own personal symbol. I had just met Fernande Oliver, and my attitude in life was improving wonderfully, as shown in the warm tones of these pieces. But cubism was definitely my favorite style. I am very excited to keep working on it, and hopefully create many masterpieces. Now, I understand there have been some rumors circulating about an affair with a young Marie Walter. Wouldn't you think 17 is a little young for an affair? I want to say one thing to American people. I want you to listen. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. And if I did, I will personally give you my most precious piece of artwork. It was not but days later that Marie came out to the press and confessed her affair with Picasso. After several declines, Picasso finally agreed to come back and finish his interview. Pablo, I believe you brought us something. Si, senor. Ah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Shall we continue where we left off? Given your climbing success, what direction do you see your artwork taking you next? Definitely not one direction. I would like to explore classicism and surrealism more. I am hoping it will take me somewhere quieter than New York. Thank you, Mr. Picasso. Next, we knock on the door of a newly opened Museum of Modern Art's first director when we return. Hi, I'm a Remington. And I'm a Corona. You know, Remy, you really are a fine piece of machinery. Why, thank you. I advocate that very much. Uh, excuse me, are you, are you okay? Yes, I just do not have a rewrite feature. Oh, you mean like my rewrite feature. So I'm always typing like a gentleman. Yes, I suppose. Welcome back. I'm Kent Day, and here with us we have Alfred Barr. How are you doing today? Very well. Thank you, Kent. Let's dive right into it. The new Museum of Modern Art has just opened up in New York. I imagine it's a very popular attraction now to locals and tourists alike. Oh, yes. Very much so. We started off with only eight good pieces when we opened but I have managed to bring in some new exhibits just last year. We had Van Gogh, Van Jean, they were just splendid. Those were excellent. So tell me, do you have any future exhibits that will be coming out soon that we might look forward to? Why yes, I'm inquiring about getting a more complete collection of Van Gogh from the Netherlands here shortly and promising Picasso. Actually, is in the lineup for artists we are watching and hope to get a hold of some of his work. I'll tell you what, I already have a piece to start a collection that he lost in a bet. Oh, <laughs> wow, pardon me, but I don't see this going very far. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you for your time, Mr. Barr. And viewers, be sure to check out the best collection of modern art in New York. Thank you, we'll see you next time.
Emily described Art Deco to be an eclectic, artistic, and design style that began in Paris in the 1920s, later moving to the Americas in 1928. Its look can be found in this design of the Chrysler Building, what it will look like when completed later this year. However, Art Deco wasn't only found in architecture. But there are different kinds of uh, Art Deco. Besides architecture, there's also some different kind of paintings, such as the musician. And there's also several starburst uh, patterns used in women's shoes around that era. Well, I was wanting to ask you, can we see the secret piece? The secret piece? Well, pardon me, but there's a rumor that you guys have uh, the masterpiece of Tamara de Lempica. I'm afraid I don't know what you're speaking about. She's, um, naked. Kind of looks like your mom. Huh. I mean, <laughs> it's actually, it's a, it's a beautiful painting. Um, very great. Very great. Yeah. Exhibits very much, just uh, especially that last one. All right, well, you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us. You have, you have a better evening. Emily and Kent. Welcome to Jeopardy! Art of the 1920s. Alright Kent, you're up first. Uh, Picasso for 200. She was a mistress of Picasso. Hmm. I'm gonna go with... Who is Demi Levito? Demi Levito? That is incorrect. Emily. Miscellaneous for 500. This man was first director at the Museum of Modern Art. Alfred. Who is Alfred Barr? Barr. That's correct. Kent? Art Deck. Huh. I'm going to go with. Ah, uh, I have to go with the gamble. Art Deco for 5,000. What is the name of the lady that painted that one painting of a naked lady? Is that, uh... Tamara... Lent... Lent Locker? That's correct! Alright, close enough. That's good. That's good. I will take... Let's go with Picasso for 500, please. Style of art Picasso is using right now. What is cubism? Yes, correct. Last question, Kent. Uh, damn. Um, miscellaneous for... 200. 
It is known as surrealism. Kent and Emily, thanks for joining. And check out our 20s ragtime music on sale now at CBS Radio. Good night. decided to write a song. It's called Established in 1929. So, here it goes. Thank you. 